It's an established principle among dairy farmers that happy, contented cows give more milk and better quality milk than those that are unhappy. So, much of what happens on Washington's dairy farms is designed from the ground up for cow comfort. You can boil down calf care especially to the simplest things. They need to be well fed and clean and dry, protected from the elements and have the lowest possible exposure to disease that you can arrange for. My grandfather always said, a happy, content cow will give you, give you as much milk as she can. So what is, what is happy and content mean? It means they're fed, they're sheltered, and you're not adding stress to their life. You see a cow lying down and chewing her cud or up eating, or just soaking in the sun, as some of these cows here are, uh, it's, that's a happy cow. There's no question that contentedness and productivity have some relationship. It's not perfect, but, you know, it is certainly our view that the better care you can take of cows, the better care they will take of you. I know what went into their diet. I know they're getting a balanced diet that's, that's healthy for their stomach. I know that we're doing everything we can to keep their corral groomed and soft so it's a comfortable place to lay down. Basically, I know everything we do to manage these cows and it would be almost the equivalent if I got to go to the spa every day. It really is. We put a lot of effort into taking the very best care of these animals. I refer to this as the kitchen of the dairy. So this is where we prepare all the meals for the 7,500 cows on the farm. And we feed alfalfa hay, we feed uh, corn silage, triticale silage, ground corn, uh, dry distiller's grains, um, soybean meal, um, mineral and uh, vitamin package, and protein supplement. We can grow about 80% of what our cows need to eat to produce good, healthy milk on this farm. It's, it's, a, it's a critical part of the nutrient cycling process. We produce feed, feed it to cows, take manure, put it back on the land to produce crops, grow another crop, bring it in, feed it back to cows. This is the best place the calf can be on its own. It's, it's like a mini incubator for the calf itself. It keeps the calves separate from each other, which is a good thing in case we do have a problem with one calf that does not spread through the rest of them. It also keeps them warm and uh, pretty much dry in there. And right here on the, on the, it says calf nursery right here on the hutch itself. This is something new to me in the cow comfort. These are water beds. These are bladders, two pieces of rubber. And it's got a gap in between and you fill it with water so the cow can lay on it. The cows love them in the winter time. We built a facility that is, is efficient cow friendly, people friendly, and one of the examples of that is this system that's going off right now is our on-farm version of our air conditioning. A cow will breed better when she's cool, a cow will eat better when she's cool, she'll feel better when she's cool. Happy cows make good milk. Conscientious animal care is just one of the factors helping to make Washington's milk some of the best in the world and some of the most plentiful. Washington consistently ranks among the top 10 milk producing states. That wouldn't be possible without contented, comfortable cows. It also means that most of the milk that is consumed here was produced here. So remember, when you buy milk in Washington, you're buying local.